Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Pohlmeyer. Welcome back to set three of my book critiques for EDU 318. My feature text for this set is Before the Ever After by Jacqueline Woodson. Written in verse, Before the Ever After is a realistic fiction work that tells the story of ZJ and his family as they navigate his father's brain trauma after years of playing professional football. They learn what it means for their family if their father can't work anymore, and ZJ even explores what it means to follow a passion, to follow something he loves, even if it might not be in his father's football-loving footsteps. The first lesson I've created for this book is a brain research podcast, which aligns with next generation standards for middle school, specifically grade six. This standard specifies that students will learn about how sensory receptors respond to stimuli by sending messages to the brain, essentially what is the brain's role in the body. In this lesson, students will use critical thinking, they'll formulate guiding questions for their research, and then will conduct that research in collaboration with peers and through using interactive tech tools. Students will plan a podcast in which they will creatively communicate their research with listeners. They'll complete all of the steps of that podcast, like creation and publishing and advertising. And then they will share the completed podcast episodes with the school community, either through the school newsletter or through social media pages, specifically during the month of March, which is Brain Injury Awareness Month. So here is my example of a podcast artifact. Students will conduct research through using things like this 3D interactive brain website and through using the Brain AR app. They will also learn specifically about concussions in football players through using an Actively Learn, which is an amazing tool for educators to use that has all of this information that you can see here and preset multiple choice questions that the teachers can edit or add to. Um, so this is a great tool for students to learn about these concussions specifically within NFL players. When they go after they've completed their research, when they go to begin to format their podcast, they will use this podcast outline template that I've created. On the left, on the right, you can see that, and then on the left, you can see my example of a completed template, as well as my script for my podcast. Students will use Anchor.com, which is a very intuitive, user-friendly website to create their podcast, and they'll even use tools like Canva to design a podcast cover. They'll share their completed podcast with their audience through, on the left, we can see an example of a newsletter, and then on the middle and the right, we can see examples of social media posts sharing about their brain podcast. The second lesson I've created is using the text as a mentor text for engaging students in creating poetry. The standard that guides this lesson is Common Core State Standards for English Language Arts, again for grade six, which talks about the meaning of words and phrases and um, adding connotative meaning, meanings of words, analyzing the impacts of specific vocabulary, etc., which is all very important when you create poetry. In this lesson, students will use critical thinking to identify key parts of their favorite poem from Before the Ever After. They'll use it as a mentor text and write a creative poem of their own about their own life experience. Students will then communicate their poem with others via a Flipgrid. They'll also use this as a tool for collaboration with their classmates as they provide peer feedback and listen to their classmates' poems. Moving on to the rest of the books I read for this set, The Nerviest Girl in the World by Melissa Wiley, Her Right Foot by Dave Eggers, The Radium Girls by Kate Moore, and Stay Where You Are and Then Leave by John Boyne, the author of The Boy in Stripped Pajamas. Closing out this set video with another quote, when you love a thing, little man, my dad said, you gotta love it with everything you got, till you can't even tell where that thing you love begins and where you end. I really like this quote. I think it sums up many of the themes that I read in the books for this set, talking about finding a passion, pursuing a passion, and um, doing the right thing. So, thanks for listening to this set video. I'll see you next time.